In Australia, Crown Baraba in pavements is not necessarily a new concept. It has been around since the mid-1970s and it is often used in sprayed seals and asphalt. My experience in South Africa and in looking at the international marketplace was that crumb rubber was a pretty good alternative to use the current modifiers they use in bitumen. Generally, styrene butadiene styrene or styrene butadiene rubber. And when I came to Australia, I realised, well, we were pretty good in Australia in using crumb rubber in seals. A lot of experience, a lot of expertise being used in kind of like Victoria and a bit of New South Wales and South Australia, but not across all of the states. And then the question was, well, why not? What were the barriers, what were the difficulties? The idea behind these projects that we're currently doing in collaboration with Tire Stewardship Australia is to capture the performance history of technology in other countries. To show that the manufacturers here could produce the bitumen with the crumb rubber added to it and produce the asphalt then put it down on the road so that we could check that we were doing the same thing that was being done internationally. Well then we can say well if it performs for 20 years in South Africa or in America and we're doing it the same way here, well then we can say well then guess what, we should get the same performance out of it. So it means we can use the product more comfortably without waiting 10 years and monitoring it 10 years before getting our own performance history. So the advantage that the crumb rubber brings by adding it into the bitumen is it's a low cost polymer. Rubber and bitumen have a magnificent compatibility with their polymer chain. So when you heat the bitumen up and the rubber up, the polymer chains all get interwoven and it gives us much more enhanced benefits out of the bitumen. Crumb rubber comes with other stuff. It comes with effectively antioxidants. Those tyres on the motor car, things are added to them to stop the sunlight and the oxygen damaging them. Now when you take that rubber off and you put it into bitumen, you get the advantages of a long life elastomer. So in seals, big advantage, it just doesn't age as quickly. In the asphalt, you've got a very good elastomer that actually stays elastic for a long period of time. It is also upcycling, so this is not just recycling, it is upcycling. The rubber is enhancing the properties of the bitumen and the asphalt, so it will give us longer life and durability. We've got really reactive clay soils in this area, and the roads we're putting down, they're only lasting two to three years, and we're having to completely reconstruct because they're cracking, they're getting water in. So about a year ago, our assets team and our roads engineers got together with our asphalt provider to look at new techniques we could do to try to uh, solve this cracking issue. And one of the options we looked at were crumb rubber. We're always kind of looking for new opportunities and new innovative ways to, to improve the products and the service that we deliver to the community. And working with the tyre stewardship as an opportunity to look at whether this is going to improve improve the whole of life costs for council's pavements. On this far side over here we've got a combination, we've got a standard binder coming down here and then from further down we go for a, a crumb rubber on the base and then this the run that we can currently see that's been placed, that's crumb rubber all the way through. Over a two year period we're going to be testing it every three months, see whether it cracks, see whether it does what the lab tests show it should do. This is our first trial. From the turnout today, I'd say it's probably not going to be our last. And it's great that we at Mitcham are at the forefront and we've got a lot of other interest from other councils watching us blazing forward. We're at 315,000 and going to be over 500,000, so we're going to need a lot of roads, we're going to need a lot of modern solutions to problems. We want to be more sustainable and the council wants to be sustainable and this is the best way. We don't waste and that's part of what it's all about. These sort of projects are innovative and we'd like to think as a city that we're at the forefront of that innovation, trying new things, trialling different things and bringing people along the journey. I've been building roads for 40 years and I think people should all try something different. We're known for the three R's which are roads, rates and rubbish. We're looking at using rubbish with people's rates to produce roads that become a resource for the community. There isn't a barrier to that. What APP has been trying to do on the asphalt space is use those international proven specifications, bring them into an Australian usable context. APP has been really grateful of TSA for the role that they've played to help our sector make better use of that product, which could be classed as a waste product, but certainly end of life.